Hi friends. Today's story is all about whether or not a monster makes a good pet. And it's titled, I Want a Monster. It's written and illustrated by Elise Gravel. And thanks to HarperCollins Publishers for letting us share the story with you today. Here we go. All my friends have pet monsters. This is me, Winnie. Louise has an og. Simon has a gopter. Alice has a bloctopus. And I want one too. It's not fair. I tell Papa I want a monster. Please, please, pretty please. Oh look, she's got her big Bambi eyes. A monster? We don't have room for a monster. Who's going to take care of him? I will. And who's going to feed him? I will. And who will pick up the monster poo? I will. Look, Papa, I know everything about monsters. I did my research. I'm a monster expert. Papa takes me to the monsterium. This is the best day of my life. I just love the monsterium. I could spend my whole life in there. They have so many awesome things. Monster eggs monster food, and best of all, baby monsters. They have hundreds of species, long-footed plurps, which are cute, but incredibly smelly. Pooples, cuddly and slimy, eat flies though. Gurks, very curious and clever, might read your diary and mini gogs, tiny but very messy. Moogs, strong, noisy, they love sports, especially hockey. Froops, funny and very excitable, they love to dance and scream. Mustachioed zups, they're good dressers, very elegant but smelly feet. And giant fawfuls, soft, sweet, they love reading books and smelling flowers. They're so cute. I want to adopt them all. Papa has a crush on this little guy. Isn't he absolutely adorable? He's a baby Ugly Wump. According to my book, Ugly Wumps are cuddly with red hair and they smell a bit like pirate feet. We'll name him Gus, says Papa. Yay! Whoa, baby monsters are something else, let me tell ya. Wee! No, Gus, the toilet is not a swimming pool. No, Gus, please don't do that in Papa's shoes. No, Gus, you're not supposed to eat Papa's cell phone. Oops. Oh, no. Don't put peanut butter on your head. Also, they seem to never sleep ever. It's a good thing they're so cute, right? I'm glad I have my book. It tells me everything I have to do to train and raise Gus. Here's what I learned. Number one, monsters need lots of cuddles and hugs and kisses. That's important. Number two, otherwise they might do silly stuff to get your attention, like saying potato over 
and over and over again. Stop it, Gus. Monsters eat a lot, and they eat yucky stuff, like potato juice, dirty socks, ugh, bugs, and ketchup. Number four, they also need a bit of discipline. That's the part I'm not too good at. Time out, buddy. Monsters grow so fast. Look at how big and healthy Gus is now. I can't believe he was a tiny baby just three weeks ago. He doesn't do too many silly things anymore. Ploing. Hey, was that my ukulele? Oh no, it looks like a ukulele string has been snapped. He might still make little mistakes from time to time. That's normal. Yum. Gus, no! But look, I trained him to do tricks. Gus can braid my hair, play the trumpet, and do the dishes. What a big, handsome, well-behaved monster. Yes, you are. Maybe a bit too quiet even. I'm not sure that's normal. What's wrong, Gus? Are you sad? Gus, what's the matter? Get up, let's play. I don't like this one bit. He must be sick or something. What do they say about this in the book? Your monster is using bad words? No, that's not it. Your monster keeps picking his nose. Nope. Ah, here it is. Your monster is too calm and even a little bit boring. Found it. Papa, we need to talk. Gus doesn't seem happy and I think I know why. I think he's lonely. I think we need to give him a new baby monster. And so they did. There's Betty and Lola. And then at the end, they ask if you would like to adopt a monster. Do you think a monster would make a good pet? The end. I hope you enjoyed this story today, and I hope you learned a lot about how to raise baby monsters. For more stories and for other craft ideas and videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.